What's going on you guys, this is TechHD coming at you with a brand unboxing video and today what we're going to be taking a look at is the August Smart Lock Pro plus the Connect. So pretty much this is a smart lock that you can control with your phone through Amazon Alexa, through Google Home, through the Samsung Smart Things. And this is really cool because this is the third generation, the first one was okay and now they made it a little bit more um, sleek, modern, a little bit smaller and it's really cool because it's a partial replacement so pretty much you don't have to replace the lock on the outside and you just replace the lock on the inside so it makes it look like you don't have a smart lock but in reality when you enter the, the house you actually do which is really cool so it has that nice like hidden look which is really cool and it's great for apartments because I live in an apartment and they say that I can't really change my lock uh, to like a smart lock or anything like that like I have to have the same deadbolt the same key stuff like that and what's really cool is that this is the perfect thing for that so the August smart lock I'm able to use the same key that the apartment gives me and I'm able to pretty much change it to a partial replacement and um, just have it as a smart lock but through the interior instead of you can't really tell outside which is really really nice and so this is pretty insane so the connect part of it is pretty much you're able to connect it through your phone through Wi-Fi instead of the Bluetooth capability so if you want to control it outside of your um, house or your apartment or anything like that um, then you would need the connect feature as well and also it also has a sensor where it's able to detect if it's been locked or if the door is closed or not stuff like that so we're gonna be taking a look at this we're gonna be unboxing this I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that comes with and then we're gonna be doing a quick setup and then I'm gonna be showing you guys if it really works or not and we're also gonna be connecting it to the Amazon Echo uh, and see how that works as well all right all right you guys so as you can see right here we got the august smart lock pro plus the connect control and monitor your door from anywhere works on amazon alexa apple home kit and it works with the google assistant which is really cool also works with nest which is pretty interesting install inside keep your existing lock that's the main thing about that that i really like especially for apartments your phone is now your key which is really cool and it includes the august connect wi-fi bridge so this is what if you want to control it outside of your house instead of using bluetooth you can use wi-fi which is really cool and then over here we got the control access as well as the stay connected the secure your home smart all of that we're gonna get into that in a little bit as well as we have the door sense technology the auto lock uh voice control activity history auto unlock and unlimited virtual keys so grant guests access from anywhere and revoke instantly which is really cool and then over here is a really cool uh, picture that shows you which lock it supports so it just supports the regular deadbolt and then the regular door to unlock not like a combination or anything like that and this is the size of the August smart lock and the bridge itself and it works with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so let's get right into this so it looks like we got the August logo right here and let's try to open this up okay Oh, very, very nice. Okay, so we got the welcome pamphlet with all the stuff. So let's see, beginning the setup. This looks like some type of adhesive or anything like that. The terms and conditions. Okay, we're gonna put that to the side. We got the mount itself. So this is the deadbolt mount um, that we're gonna be mounting with the existing deadbolts inside. This is some type of little adapters as well. And uh, this looks like Oh, this looks like the door sense. Uh, so this is able to sense. Let me take this out. So this is able to sense when the door is open and when it's closed. So you have to pretty much make a little hole in it. I might not be using this. I'm not too sure. I'm going to think about that in a second, but we'll see. And uh, let's move that over to the side as well. And then we got the Wi-Fi connect bridge. If I could take this out. There we go. So this is just a simple little adapter that you would just plug into the wall. Very simple, has a little button as well. Pretty interesting. And then we got the August Smart Lock itself. So this thing is pretty heavy um, and it looks really nice. Nice little build quality. This is where we would uh, connect the mounts and all that. And if I push this down, there should be, yep, there are AA batteries. I think you need about two or four of them, which is really cool. Um, but it's really nice because if the batteries do end up like dead or something you can always use your existing key which is really cool uh, you don't have to worry so much about it and this is magnetic which is really cool all right let me pull this piece out and let's pull this out there we go 
and there we go it's a nice little silver look this is the silver edition i think they have a black one i think they have like a white one maybe but let's see yep that is pretty much it on how to activate it push that down oh there we go look at that red light that showed for a second and these are let's see that is the number to pretty much set it up okay it's pretty cool very nice very nice all right so now that we have everything we're going to be setting this all up i'm going to be trying to go step by step on how to set all this up and see if it really works or not all right you guys so now i'm going to be showing you guys step by step on how i set up the august smart lock and i'm going to be showing you guys pretty much through the app as well as me setting everything up calibrating it and all using the door sense as well as the connect which is really cool so the first thing that i did was i installed the app and i'll leave a link down in the description below so that you guys could download it as well so that you guys could follow step by step with me now the first thing that it prompted me to do is to remove the deadbolt from the inside and to tape use the tape that they provided which is really cool i really like that they provided me with tape as well use the tape to cover the outside piece so that the outside doesn't fall off or anything like that and you remove the inside deadbolt and then with that you get the bracket and then you match up the two existing holes that's already in the deadbolt you screw those in and then you have to find the right piece to uh, either the yellow, the blue, or the green one to match with the deadbolt that you have so that the shape could actually match so then the smart lock could actually work and pretty much turn and unlock and, and lock the door and it won't get uh, messed up or anything like that. After that, what it's going to prompt you is to actually install the smart lock, which is really easy because it's just two little pieces that open up, you place it in, and then you close it, and then that's pretty much it. It's stupid simple, and I really like how they set that up, which is really nice. And then it's going to prompt you to ask if you want to use the door sense, which I decided I wanted to. Most people, what I saw in the videos were that people used to make a hole and then make the door sense inside so that it won't be really detected or anything like that. But I just decided to like drill it into right next to the door lock, like about within an inch of a distance so that I could really, really detect to see if the door is open or closed and if it's locked or not stuff like that and so I put it right next to it and you can see that I installed it right next to it right on top of it I didn't make any holes or anything like that so that it could literally hide or anything like that plus it's an apartment so I can't really do that so I decided to just make a hole and drill it onto it and then that'll be that now what I did afterwards is that it made me calibrate the door sense to open it uh, to close it to unlock it manually and lock it manually so that it can know when it's actually locked when it's actually unlocked and when the door is actually open and closed and then after that it's been calibrated then it's gonna tell you to open the door and then reclose it and then it'll show you that it actually worked and then you could go on the app and then do it manually as well and it'll tell you if it's unlocked or not and it's really cool because then I could get into the settings to be like after I close the door it automatically locks which is really cool that's why I love the door sense now then it's gonna tell me to calibrate the connect feature so I could use Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth because Wi-Fi is a lot more stable connection a lot more reliable plus it's faster speeds and also it's a better option than Bluetooth overall so I set up the connect I had to connect to my 2.4 gigahertz band on the internet and it's really good it's very reliable it's very fast and then i have the connect within about 10 feet away of the august smart lock which is really good so i get a nice stable connection a nice reliable connection once i get once i park my car i could easily go up the stairs start unlocking my door and then that'll be at, i'll be in and then i could close it and it automatically locks which i really really like now after i set all of that up i went to the amazon alexa app because I have Amazon Alexa, so I want to be able to use Alexa to unlock my door as well as lock my door to make sure that everything is correct and locked as well as whenever I do a type of routine and make sure that my door is locked. Like let's say for example, towards the night, I say Alexa, good night. It turns off all my lights, it turns on certain devices and it makes sure that my lock is actually locked so that I don't get uh, robbed in the middle of the night, which is really good. And so I set that up. All I had to do was uh, sign into my August account. I had to put in my email, my phone number, my password. Simple as that, you know, the stuff that you always use every day. And then you have to pretty much connect it to the August Smart Lock. And then you have to create a pin. Now, the pin is really interesting because the pin you have to use 
whenever you want to uh, unlock the door and I know some of you guys don't like that because then what's the actual point it's a lot faster to actually open it and not but I'm gonna explain it in a little bit on why the pin is actually necessary but that's pretty much it of me setting everything up it was really easy nothing frustrating nothing difficult at all and it was really hassle free and all through the app it tells me it tells you guys step by step on how to set everything up and I really like that all right you guys so i took a lot of time in really messing with the august smart lock and throughout my many weeks of really messing around with it i honestly love it and as you guys saw through the time lapse it was really easy to set it up it was step by step nothing difficult at all nothing really major that you needed to do when it came to removing the old lock and replacing it with the other one and really i really like how it is for a apartment because like i said my landlord did not want me to change any of the locks or anything like that change any of these existing keys but like i said i'm able to use my actual keys and get into my apartment for whatever reason happens like for example if my phone dies or something like that i can't use the august smart lock i can use my actual keys but what i really like about it is how it's you can't tell if it's a smart lock on the outside but on the inside you can actually see that it is an, in fact a smart lock and so it makes it so much easier for me to get into my apartment and to leave and have it automatically lock on me and to manually and lock it and make sure that's locked and all that and to unlock it is super easy as well i honestly love it and now that i have the august smart lock i don't have to take my keys with me i could literally just walk out of my apartment without my keys i take my phone with me all the time and that is my keys which i really like bear in mind though that i do keep my keys in my car just in case for whatever reason if my phone dies or something like that and i need to actually use my keys to get into the apartment i can honestly do that and i really like that as well but getting into the functionalities and getting into the app if you guys can see i'm going into my apartment and you can see that i have it right now closed and that it's locked if I were to unlock it, I'm connected to Wi-Fi and I'm using the connect, which is like literally within 10 feet from me. So I'm getting a really stable and easy connection. So it made that jingle indicating that it is unlocked and you saw that it actually moved and unlocked. And then I did just get a notification telling me that I unlocked my apartment door, which I really like. So now if I were to open it, it would say that it's open and unlocked. And then if I were to close it, because of the door sense, it automatically detects that the door actually closed and now it is relocked as well, which is really cool. So now I don't have to, if I'm in a rush to get to work or if I'm in a rush to get to class, I don't have to close the door and then try to get my keys out and try to lock the door. I could just easily open the door, get out, close the door, and then have it automatically lock on me. And if for whatever reason it doesn't, I could easily get into the app while I'm getting into my car and lock it like that. It's super easy and it's so much faster, which I really like. And so, like I said, I'm able to have it unlock and lock it automatically just like that. And the cool thing is, is that if I were to unlock it, and then if I were to forget for whatever reason that I actually unlocked it, after a minute goes by, it relocks itself just to make sure. So I really like that as well because you never know if sometimes like for some reason I'm at work and I'm like, did I lock the door? Or maybe I'm in class or something like that. I can honestly go into the app and check if it's actually locked or not. And not only that, but after a minute of having it unlock, it automatically locks, which I really like. It's really safe to eat as well. It's very safe when it comes to your apartment being nice and secured or your house being nice and secured, you're easily able to check if you're at work or if you're in class or wherever you are, if the door is honestly locked or not, which is really cool. Another thing that I like is that I'm able to go into my history and I'm able to see my activities, who unlocked my door, who locked it. And that's another thing is that I'm able to so after a minute goes by, like I said, it automatically locks back because I had it unlocked for a minute, which is, like I said, proof and it's really cool. But like I said, another thing that I really like is that I could give access to other people like my family members, my friends, and for example, like my girlfriend. My girlfriend, I sent her a link to download the app and then now she has access to unlock and lock my door. 
and I can do the same thing with my friends and my family. And so I could have my friends be visiting me and staying with me for like a week or so, and I could give them access like a virtual key and not give them anything physical, like a physical key. I could give them a virtual key to come into my apartment, you know, and to do whatever they need to. And then when they leave or when they go back home, I could honestly lock them out of it. So now they don't have access to get into my apartment now, which is really nice. It's really safe and secured. And same thing, I get notifications if my girlfriend or my friends or family members unlock and lock my door, which is really cool. And it tells me in real time as well. And then same thing, I can see the guest list of the owners, who can have access, who can invite people as well. I could get into the settings and then change the settings of the lock. Like for example, I could change it to automatically lock, yes or no. I could also set it to auto unlock when I'm nearby in proximity of the connect or the center as well. And then I can make it do sounds or not, which I like it to do sounds so it tells me outside when I actually close the door that it actually did lock, which I really like. And then it's able to tell me notifications if the door is jammed, like it didn't properly close or not, which I really like as well. Now, another cool thing that I like is that it is, like I said, a smart lock. So it's able to work with devices like Amazon Alexa and Google, uh, Google Home. So pretty much the, there's some cons about that as well. So for example, with Amazon Alexa, I'm able to have her at unlock and lock the door. The funny thing about that is that when it comes to unlocking the door, it's a little bit difficult because you do need a pin or a code to say out loud in order for her to unlock the door. Now I asked uh, Amazon and pretty much uh, August why that is. And they said it's a security thing, even though you're saying it out loud. But the security thing is that they said that if you have windows or in your, in your house and you have windows and stuff like that, people outside could hear that you were asking Google Home or Amazon Alexa to unlock the door. So then when you leave or you go somewhere, they could easily yell outside to unlock the, your door and then they could get into your house. Now that's why they added the, the pin part because they need a pin in order to unlock it now or they need like voice recognition or something like that, but they need a pin in order to unlock it. So like if you're with your friends and you just ask her to unlock the door and you need a pin, you know, your friends are gonna know it now. But like I said, that's the main thing that they told me is that like for strangers, if they hear you unlocking the door through a simple voice command just by saying it like that, then they could do it as well. If they need a pin, then they're screwed pretty much. But for example, I could give you a good example. Alexa, unlock the front door. So now you can see, Alexa locked the front door. Same thing. So now I'm going to get a notification as well. Thank you. <laughs> so now I'm going to get a notification as well that the door is unlocked and that it's locked again. But that's pretty much the reason for that. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is pretty much my unboxing setup, walkthrough, and overview of the August Smart Lock. Let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about it. Honestly, I really love it. Like I said, it's super easy to set up. The walkthrough and all that was step-by-step. Step. It's nothing difficult at all. It's really easy to get it all set up and get it set up with your Wi-Fi and all that. And the app is simple as well. Easy to understand, nothing difficult at all. And I really like the key features that they provide. Like I said and it's really good especially for apartment use you know like I said my landlord did not want me to change any of the locks but I really like how it's a semi installation I could still use my existing keys I can have my landlord still get access into my apartment for whatever reason and it's really easy and I make it into a smart device and as well as I could have my phone compatible with it as well as smart devices like Amazon Alexa and Google Home which is what I really like as well and I can set up routines and all that so whenever I go to sleep I save my routine to Amazon and then pretty much and make sure that my lock is actually locked overnight and not unlocked by mistake and some key features, same thing like the auto lock, whenever I close it, the automatic lock after a minute, stuff like that. And I really like it. And 
like I said, it's really cool, really easy to set up, and I honestly really like it. It's a really good investment, to be honest. But let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about it. Hopefully, I covered everything uh, possible, and hopefully, I explained it the best way that I can. But if you guys do have any specific questions, let me know down in the comments uh, if so that I can help you guys out and any specific questions that you guys really have but there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever i upload a new video follow me on facebook twitter youtube instagram and twitch as always it's take a g i'll catch you guys in the next video peace